today's video is going to be thrift with me vlog i think it's my first time vlogging about thrift shopping and i used to be a huge thrifting lover when i was in high school but after i got in college i never got to do thrifting shopping and Today, me and my mom and my sister, we're gonna go to Tongmyo Flea Market. And Tongmyo Flea Market is one of the huge thrift stores in Seoul. And it has been there for a long time. And it was super famous. A lot of like celebrities visit there. Ever since it got famous from the Infinity Challenge because G-Dragon and Hyungdun, they visited Tongmyo Flea Market. So it's basically my first time vi visiting there in like 10 years so i'm super excited about it and my goal today is to buy a nice fall or winter jacket because i wanted i've been wanting to buy a nice like fall winter jacket like a vintage fall slash winter jacket would be my main goal today so we'll see what we find and before we bounce we need to change our money to from 10 manon to chanon because I heard the price of Tongmyo Flea Market, they're negotiables. So if you want to have a negotiation with them, you you want to have more of a chananjari than mananjari. So all I have is just mananjari. So I'm gonna exchange them. Yeah, we'll see how I negotiate with them, and hopefully I can get some vintage clothes with a great price. So wish me luck. And this is my outfit today. I'm just wearing sleeveless because I want to see, I want to try on the, some jackets later. So I'm just wearing my outfit as comfy as possible. And also I'm wearing the outfit that would match well with the fall or winter jacket. So it's going to be it. And I'll see you guys at Tongmyo Flea Market. <laughs> This stop is Dongmyo. Dongmyo. The station number is 127. The doors are on your left. Wow, now it's so we've arrived at Tongmyo Flea Market and we came out from exit 3 and because this is weekend there's a lot of people at Tongmyo Flea Market and this is basically the street stores that they have the clothes all over the mat like this. So we're just gonna look around this spot first and then move on to the real store, real vintage store later. So yeah, let's start some thrifting and we'll see how much we're gonna get. <laughs> And my mom is looking for her vintage belt. Look at how many bells they have here. This is how much? 10,000? 10,000? 10,000, 10,000. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get So I recently went to Tongmyo Flea Market with my mom and my sister and Tongmyo Flea Market is one of the huge vintage flea market places in Korea 
and I actually been to other vintage places like Kuje Shijang, but actually it was my first time ever thrifting in Dongmyo Flea Market. So I was very excited about thrifting over there. I got a lot of great pieces from Dongmyo Flea Market. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little Dongmyo thrifting haul video today. But before you get into shopping, you need to prepare lots of Chonan bills with you and also you better have a huge eco bag or like a huge gym bag for your clothes because once you go there you're gonna get at least five to ten pieces of vintage items so you better have a huge bag that you can carry them together because they're gonna just basically give you a black plastic bag which is not enough for you to carry and put them together and just super easier to put all of them together in a huge eco bag or huge bag so I highly recommend to prepare lots of ton of bills with you at a huge eco bag so yeah without a further ado let's start the haul So this is the first item that I got from Tomio Flea Market and also this is the item that I liked the most and I got this black plain jacket from a one thrifting store and I don't remember what store it was I just remember like the locations uh, It says it's from Sarto and it's very rare to find a second-handed clothes in Tomio Flea Market with a tag on so I feel very like fancy about it that it has a tag on it Anyway, uh, the price of this jacket was $20, but the price at Tomi Flea Market are super negotiable, so you need to give a shot for a bargain about the price because their price are super negotiable. So it was $20, but I got it with the price of $17. So I basically took off $3, some tonan out of it. Like the condition of this jacket was super clean and neat and I for sure checked the inside and the button, like the pockets, everything and it looks super fine and it looks like 100% like new item so I had to get it and I didn't have a plain black jacket that fits me well and also I kind of want to have a not like super tight jacket and this is perfect for me to wear especially like this fall time is perfect to wear this jacket these days just everything is so perfect it's just super perfect basic plain black jacket so I love it and here I have a lot more items from one spot so basically Tongmyo Flea Market has like two separate like shopping spots and one is like the normal thrifting stores that I got my jacket but the other John is like treasure hunt John like they literally put all the clothes on the mat and there's still like a huge piles of clothes like all along the streets you basically have to like find all the items they're not even like sorted out there's no like jacket section or pants section or t-shirt section you, there's just like everything is like put piled up together so you basically have to explore and find all the items until you find the item that you like or you want to buy and i got probably six or seven items in this one treasure hunt john and I don't think their price are negotiable here because they're already super cheap. Like one at one each items would be like two bucks to four or five bucks. So it's super cheap. So I don't think the price are was negotiable, but kind of kind of those like treasure hunt zone is unless the drifting store they're not like hanging up there, they're just like literally putting on the floor and the mat so the condition would be like C to like B plus it's very like rare to find a A plus condition items yeah but if you want to get five items in 10 bucks please the treasure hunt is so worth it and here I have this another jacket that I got from the treasure hunt John and this is a little like thinner than that black jacket and I think it's for like a summer jacket 
but I've been wanting to have a gray jacket and like a striped jacket, especially like the button here. It has a, like one gold button and it's super like light and it was only two bucks so it's just so worth to buy it and try it for this fall so yeah here i have a beautiful tweeted crop tweeted jacket and this slip dress and each item was two dollars and two dollars like all i think all the items that i got from that treasure hunt john is all two dollars each so the price are super cheap, 5 out of 5 First I found this beautiful slip dress It's like a beige shade And it has a very like a silky material But it's not like a fancy silky But it has a good silky material And the length is pretty long And it hits my above my ankles So I pretty much like the length And the reason why I got this one is because Obviously, I don't have one and also you can just wear this during summertime also during fall or winter You can just wear a, a long sleeves or like a toddle neck and just you know wear the dress with it And I can just rock on like thigh high boots or like ankle boots also I love this crop Wooded jacket because I'm tall. I love like cropped jacket or cropped like outers. I don't know why it just makes my legs look super like longer. And obviously I did dry cleaning for all the items because they're basically second-hand items. So I wanted to make sure that all the items are clean before I wear them. This is my second favorite item except the black jacket and just like plain tweeted jacket with a huge silver button on so yeah the buttons over here is super vintage it's very like decorative button it has a it has white buttons but it's covered up with silver uh, edge and there's something more in the middle definitely the buttons makes a more of a vintage vibe of this jacket and this is perfect to wear with a slip dress or you can just wear it with a t-shirt under it so yeah i pretty much love this jacket and for sure this would be my go-to jacket and moving on to next item here i have a basic t-shirt and i'm showing you guys this because one con of uh, thrifting would be like for jacket is okay because you can try them out but for like t-shirts or pants it's really hard for you guys to find the right size or it's really hard for you guys to figure out if that clothes would be fitted size for you and yeah i feel with this item because i have a pretty much a wide shorter so i try this t-shirts on but it's so small to me it feels like it's like a small size so i've decided to just give it to my friend who can actually wear this better than i do but it was just like a basic two dollar t-shirt and if this t-shirt would fit me well i could definitely wear it a lot too and moving on to the next item here i have black pant and this was also two dollars I, that I found it from a Treasure Hunt Zone and it's a little bit large for me but the length is so perfect and it's just like a perfect straight fit slacks that I will wear every day it doesn't have a button it's just like you can just zip and unzip it and it looks like high-waisted chic black flex so it's really perfect to just wear with this cardigan or you can just wear with simple tops so yeah I really love about this flex too here I have the black cardigan and this is the last item that I got from that uh, treasure hunt John and it was also two dollars the reason why I got this cardigan is like the material is pretty thick so I can definitely wear this uh, inside my coat during winter time and the length is pretty perfect on me and I like the button design and also it's kind of like imbalanced and I really love that they suit all along the edge of the colors i don't know if i'm describing right in a right way but yeah this part is my favorite part and as i told you it's very rare to find the items that has a tag on and it says it's 100 cotton so it's really worth for two dollars cardigan so i had to get this one 
And here I have the last items. And we're just so tired from two hours drifting. So we're like about to head it to home. And then we found this like another vintage store where it sells a bunch of belts. And each belt was one dollar each. So it was super cheap. I got these two belts from that thrift store and this is this belt is so unique, like cowboy pattern. And I thought it would look super great with white pants or like light denim jeans. So I got this one. And the second belt I got is this thin uh, sky blue like snake pattern belt. I've been always wanting to get some like colored belts that has a like snake pattern. And I also thought it will look well with white pants. So yeah, I got this two belts from the Lost Drift store. So yeah, this is all the items that I got from Tongmyo Flea Market. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys need any more tips for uh, drifting in Korea, please let me know in the comment below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. 안녕히 계세요. Bye. 안녕. Yeah, what